Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to handle a number format exception when passing a string that contains letters into a double. So in the previous video we were we created our own method where we could check if an input contains any letters and so if it does it returns true and uh, or false and then we use this entry or the results of the check input with a true or false to ask the user for another value or a, a an entry that contains only numbers if this returned true. So what we will do in this video is use the try and catch block to catch the exception um, instead of uh, creating our own method as such. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete this method since we will be creating our own uh, also we'll be creating the try and catch instead and um, I just want to show you what happens if um, if if we don't have the check there so I'm just going to run and I'm going to put in a number so everything is fine for the second number if I put in some values like this my program crashes and the name of exception is called the number format exception. So what we will do is we'll try and catch that. I'm actually going to copy this. So um, if I return and uncomment this, so a few few changes that I have to do for this to work. Now um, instead of um, having, so my user entry remains the same, my double A number remains the same, and um, instead of check input here, I'm going to create another boolean and I'm going to call this is string and I'm going to give this an initial value of false a number also I'm going to give it an initial value of zero and I'm going to um, just paste uh, actually not what I'll do is I'll have the while loop so while uh, sorry I can't type today and let me just increase the font so while is string is not true okay so while we have that and we are going to try and catch that exception so I'm going to now paste it I'm just going to give this variable any name uh, the convention is we just use the letter E okay so here's the structure of the try and catch I'm going to try something and this is where the problem could happen so catch that specific exception. So what I want to do is make a string is equal to true initially. Otherwise, it will be false all the time, which means we will be stuck in the while loop. And if the exception is caught, if any problem is happening, then I want to set it back to false. So at any stage when the program reaches this part, it has to loop again and ask for the user to enter the values. So initially before I try anything I just want to grab the the, uh, the text from the user and the main part where the exception is going to be caused is, so I'm just going to delete this part, is when I try to pass this. Okay, so I've just rearranged my code, it's pretty much the same concept but I've just rearranged it such that it now uses try and catch. So try and pass this into a, a double so try and pass the user entry so user entry will be passed successfully if it contains only numbers and digits but if it has any letters then it's going to be throwing an exception which we are catching in here and here we say set is string to false and repeat the process again so that's pretty much it that's the only changes that we have to do I'm going to run this and um, I'm going to put in the value, um, don't know, um, so just any number. So this is just going to keep repeating until I say 4. Second number, it works pretty much the same, 44. And even for this menu, um, we can um, test it. So I could choose 3. And that's because we are using this method in our program above. So in here, we are converting the returned value to an integer and so it's working as expected. So I hope this was helpful. Um, I forgot to rename this video. This is video number 50. 
So stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.